Hello, I'm NBG and welcome to the channel. Today's video, I want to give you a little bit of an update on the enchanting shuffling I've been doing. I'm going to do a run. It is currently Friday morning on the US realms. I'm going to be doing a uh, another like 20 minute go and then just averaging it out for like gold per hour on the shuffling, uh, the enchanting shuffling that we've been doing at the time of the video that I previously made. What two days ago, whatever it was, it was a 180k an hour. Um, it fluctuated over a, you know, 12 hour period of the lowest I was getting was like 150. The highest I was getting was pushing 200. It has since gone way down. Yesterday morning, I did it again for about an hour. I got about 86k. I did it a few hours after that and I was pulling like 105k. Um, it's been really, really good, but l yesterday, last night, I saw it drop and change like crazy. And uh, we're going to discuss that, and then I'm going to do a run, and we're going to look at what the new gold per hour is, at least as of this moment. It's something that changes all the time. So, anyway, other than that, I'm going to give you one other great method for enchanting shuffling. Let's get after it. All right, so we're going to start off with the new shuffling method, or not new, but a new one for me to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about this one, but in essence, it's it's really, really simple. I'm, I'm going to talk more about it than what needs to be said, probably. So first of all, for this enchanting shuffle, this was the idea that I had originally when I saw the specs and what you could do. I looked at the final node of the Draconic Disenchantment, and I saw, wow, you have a chance to disenchant weapons and gain resonant crystals. Well, we all know from previous expansions, those, you know, epic quality crystals, whatever they happen to be, are always massively expensive early on because there's not really any good methods of getting them. This gives us a method to get them. So I kind of gunned for this and I fell into the other stuff um, by accident. Uh, but this is really what I was going for because I was like, wow. Can I disenchant a crap ton of, you know, green weapons and potentially score big on getting a resonating crystal? Well, in fact, you can. However, the chance of it is pretty low. So I'm going to do a run of it today just to kind of give you some numbers. Um, the thing with this shuffle is it has variance. So there is a floor and then there's a, a ceiling, right? And it kind of really fluctuates heavily while the other one doesn't really fluctuate too much as long as you have the points in this one you could get lucky and then you know and make an okay gold per hour and this one you could not get lucky and really really suffer so we're gonna go ahead and do that today so for this one guys I'm gonna go ahead and start myself a stopwatch here and I'll start it when I actually get going I'm just gonna talk about it first so this one is hella simple we want to buy weapons cheap and we were going to disenchant them for the hopes of getting these resonating crystals, which right now currently are a little over 8k. However, as you're disenchanting, and I'm only disenchanting greens, you're still going to get chromatic dust. Chromatic dust right now at this exact moment is, you know, 30, 31 gold per. The good news is, is, you know, you can, can, you can think about it and you probably get two plus for the most cases, like at least. Um, so if you want to make good gold, at least at the current prices, I probably want to buy weapons that are, I don't know, 60 gold and under. The good news is, is everybody's server is different. These are ser server specific items. So what I do, like you're not really affecting me if you do it on your realm or whatever the case may be. You just buy whatever you can on yours and you go from there. Um, the only thing that's going to be different is like, uh, or not different, the same is the fact of like what the dust is selling for if you're on NA and stuff like that. However, how do I search it and how do I do it? I literally just click on weapons for absolutely all weapons because it doesn't matter. Um, you can, and then I set the uh, minimum level to 60. I get rid of like everything else other than unknown and uh, rare just in case. And then I go ahead and search. And then when I do this, I'm on a higher pop realm. As you can see, there is a ton of at honestly pretty cheap prices we already know that the the dust if sells for like 30 each and if i got at least two um yeah and then most of the time i'd probably get more than that i can easily make money but if i want to make really really good money i'm probably going to buy everything under 60. and there's actually more than this here because look there's 13 of these and if i click on it there's like five six seven of them that are all 50 gold right so for me there's a lot of options on what i can buy so what i'm going to do and i only know this because i've I've tested this before is I can 
by for approximately 18 minutes. So I will show you like 30 seconds of that in this clip here. But then after that, I'll go ahead and stop it and then I'll meet back at the end. What I'm going to end up doing is just spam buying, spam buying. It is really tedious. It's a pain in the butt. Again, I'm showing you a method to get gold, not like the best or easiest. This is a pain in the butt. But regardless, I want to show it off anyway because it is an option. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start that timer. I literally just click. And by the way, this is not easier with TSM. It's just not. It's, it's much easier to just do it this way. So I go ahead and I just go down the list and I buy as fast as I can everything that is of whatever price point I'm looking. I'm going to count all of these in the end. And when I get done counting them, we'll probably try to like average out how much gold that we spent per. Um, it looks like it's probably going to be 55-ish gold is probably what I'll use for the number, depending on how many of these I can buy. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about the variance when I get to the end. For now, I'm going to focus on buying. I think I should be able to buy for about 18 minutes, and then the disenchanting should fill up the rest of the time. But I'm going to do my best to make this try to be like exactly like 30 minutes worth of stuff. That way, it's easy to do the math and you know figure out a, a relative, approximate gold per hour. Obviously, um, more variance would help the numbers a little bit and like get a, a much better idea. But we'll. Uh, We'll talk about that when I get there. So I will meet you guys at the end of this very tedious process. All right, we stopped it at 18 minutes. Oh my God, that is really painful to do, by the way. Just so you guys know, that's it's not fun to do this. All right, so the way I'm gonna do this is, it looks like I have somewhere around 250, which sounds about right. The first time I ever did this, I got like 247 or something in that amount of time. So I guess I bought a little bit faster this time. Obviously, I don't have that much room in my bag, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, count how many I have, and then we're going to start disenchanting. As you see, I don't have any like disenchanting mats, so um, none of that's going to be uh, a part of it. So let's just go ahead and grab all of these, and then I will count how many I have. We will disenchant them, put down the total number of what we got. And we will see if we hit any of those resonating crystals. Keep in mind, it is a percent chance. There's a chance I go through all like 250 of these and not hit one. When I did it yesterday, um, I only hit one in that amount of time. So that would have averaged out to like hopefully getting two within an hour. Um, but we'll go over the variance once, uh, once we get there. But for starters, let me go ahead and get this first bag full. I have it stopped to do this and then talk a little bit. Okay, so I have all of those. Let me, uh, yes, 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 I know my inventory is full. Let's go ahead and, and quickly count how much we have, right? So this batch was bought at 7,740 gold. Let's start disenchanting. Um, I'm just going to edit and, and drag this up so you guys can see what we're getting. Don't pay attention to however toxic my trade chat is. So here we are, I'm just going to open up TSM Destroy, oops, let's go ahead and start the timer, and I'm just going to start spamming. You see, you saw on that one, I only got one, right? But I got five on the next one. I got five on that one. Uh, you know that if we got at least two, we're pretty much making our gold back. Anything over two and we are making gold. So the good news about doing this is you're going to still make some gold. Of course, now I'm getting a, a pretty bad run. <laughs> But you'll see the numbers at the end, so it'll be fine. Um, you'll still make gold on the chromatic dust. At least every time I've done it, I've still made meh gold from the dust, but it's still profit. However, what you're looking for is that shard to drop. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to record the whole disenchanting section, and then I'll just like fast forward to a crystal drop, hopefully to prove <laughs> to you that it does drop, because it does. Um, Oh, look at that! We hit it! We hit it right there! So there you go. Oops, I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop. We hit one Resonating Crystal already. Again, I did like 240 yesterday before I got one to drop. So we already hit one, so we know we have one in the batch. You can see that it drops. I'm going to continue doing this batch. I'll pause, grab the new stuff, put in the totals, and I will see you at the end of the disenchanting. It should take me all the way up to 30 minutes. All right, we have our totals. Um, first of all, that is by far the luckiest I've ever been doing this. 
However, I, I can account for the variance a little bit, and we'll, we'll talk about that. I'm going to get the numbers first, because it'll be easier, and then after I get the numbers, we'll talk about it a little bit. But just so you know, that second batch, I hit three resonating crystals. Um, I've done this for two separate hours prior, like over the last day or so, and at the most I've hit in 30 minutes has been one uh, per 30 minutes. I hit four in this 30 minute batch. Like, wow. So it's a huge percent, you know, like it, it's a percent chance, right? You cannot expect to hit any, let alone three or four. Like, holy God, if I did this over an hour, this would actually make this pretty good. But again, maybe try it for yourself. But let me get the numbers and we'll talk about it. All right. Here's a quick breakdown of the numbers for what we just did. As you can see, that was th that was 30 minutes worth, right? So somehow some way each batch was exactly 129 i just got lucky on that so easy math i said i did i bought everything at 60 gold each you're looking at a total spent i spent 15,480 gold buying the green weapons right batch one i think this is normal i, I think this is almost expected i want to i want to point this out i've always gotten one in the bat in like the whole run i usually get one um so, in batch one, I got 353 with one resonant. I was like, cool, I hit one resonant. I kind of assumed I would just get dust after that. However, I got three resonants in the second batch for a total of four in that run. I hadn't gotten more than one in a 30 minute run before. So, I do think this was highly lucky. However, let's take a look at it. At 800. You know, at the 8,725, is which is what I've already sold them. They've already sold these resonance for four. That's 40, 34,900 gold just from the resonance. Um, and then 32 gold per dust. That's 23, 4, 24 from the dust. Look at how much I spent. Look at how much we got for the dust. I didn't actually write that down well, actually i kind of wrote it down i just uh if you look at that like we made gold just on the dust i did the profits per hour so obviously i just took the numbers and the profits and doubled them if this if we did this exact same thing and we never hit a single resident in an hour which would suck it's still almost sixteen thousand gold an hour i think at least for a long time a lot of people would have been okay with that however i really do think that you're probably going to average about one resident per 30 minutes is is really my assumption so it's really easy you know this is this is the floor like worst case scenario i'm making about 16,000 profit doing it in an hour and then this is what like the best case kind of scenario is one resident and this is in an hour right i'm not talking about in 30 minutes i'm talking in in an hour if you only got one resident your this is what your profit would be i think this is what you can assume is gonna happen is getting about two resonance in an hour that's still only 33,000 gold an hour that's that's not good I can I can make much more than that doing other things I'm just showing you a method of uh, being able to make gold right it's not saying that this is the best it's 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 an option you can take your chances um, as we go down I show like if you got four if you got five resonance in an hour five resonance in an hour now it's about 60k um, I got four in 30 minutes. Let's say the dream scenario, maybe my luck before was bad, right? Like, I don't know, try it yourself. But like, let's say that kept up and I got eight in an hour. Like if it kept up on that same pace, my profit would have only been like 85K um, for an hour, right? Like that's good if that happened, but I really, really do think I got lucky. So again, just to go over it one more time, worst case scenario right now at this exact moment this is about 16k an hour and then i think the normal scenario at the moment i think the thing that you can think is normal you're gonna make a little over 30k an hour anything higher than that i think you got lucky anything lower than that i think you got screwed is what it is but yeah there you go another enchanting method it's the one i wanted to go for originally i also think that this is only going to be really i could be wrong on this 
And my assumption was this would only be really good maybe before season one started. Once we have a lot more epic gear flowing around, people don't need it and they start disenchanting it, you're going to start to see an even bigger influx of resonating crystals. You know, maybe that gets outweighed by the people who need now like legitimate enchants and stuff like that. Maybe it goes up, um, but I'm assuming this price is going to drop a lot. To where this kind of thing isn't going to be nearly as profitable that's an assumption i could be wrong and if i'm wrong believe me i'll make a video about it and talk about it because i will be watching uh, but anyway there you go disenchanting weapons from the auction house at about 60 gold a pop with current prices these are your expected profits Run number two today, we are going to discuss the enchanting shuffle. I'm going to kind of go over it again and talk about where it is now about, what, almost 36 hours later after I made that video. We're going to do it again and show that it should be at least still fairly profitable. As you can see, Vibrant Shards are like almost, um, well, half of what I was what I was selling them at, right? And you're like, wow, that's like half the price. This isn't worth doing. However, from when I originally did it, Wilder Cloth is almost half the price, and then spools are pretty cheap. Um, I will say that yes, you can buy a bunch of tattered cloth at like a lower price like this. At, you know, this is less than one gold per, that means you could technically make the tattered, like the spools for like less than five gold, instead of paying like a whole gold more. Um, or, you know, you can get procs and get some extra and stuff like that. It's not so far these prices are too close to make it worth it like that's a lot of crafting time you're much better off still to just buy the spools and buy the cloth and save that time and craft additional um craft additional bracers to disenchant so i know because i've done this a thousand times already it feels like that i can do a batch of you know do 800 wilder do 800 spools for me with my crafting speed and all that kind of stuff yeah that is exactly 20 minutes of it is 10 minutes of crafting that is like 10 minutes of disenchanting it is like it, it equals out almost exactly um i know i basically do 100 make 100 and disenchant 100 in 10 minutes exactly so i already know what it is so i'm going to do that take those numbers multiply it by three easy math so what i'm going to do is i'm going to purchase 800 of each I'm going to do it, I'm going to disenchant it, talk about how much I spent, and talk about the profits. All done, let's go over the numbers real quick. So if you have not seen the shuffle by the way, I'll put it up in the corner now so you can go ahead and click on that and go watch it. It is absolutely dropped, it's dropped a lot, but you know what, it's still quite quite profitable. So I bought the 800 wielder for about 15,477. Uh, Obviously, you can try to snipe and lower the prices. I bought the 800 thread for 4,800. That was six gold per. It actually had risen a bit. Um, you can. I was. A, you could technically craft them for less than five gold per. But really, think about that. You're literally. Yeah, you're saving one gold per. You know, you need four. That's saving four gold. You know, four to five gold per craft that you do. But the amount of time it takes to actually make the stupid thread is. It's just. Again, try it both ways. If you don't believe me, you try it. Do it that way. Yes, your profits would be higher, but your gold per hour would be lower. Um, that's just the way that that's going to work. So, obviously, if those get farther apart from each other, it becomes more worthwhile. When I first ever did this, there was like a 10 gold difference. The red was like 10 gold. And then, uh, or excuse me, like the tattered was like 10 gold. And then the other one well, it was like 10 gold total is what I meant and then the thread or spool or whatever was worth about 20 gold and I was crafting them at that time but like absolutely not anymore anyway moving on spent 20,277 gold that got me 386 dust for 11,580 that got me 160 vibrant honestly for me that's low I usually get more than that I've actually gotten more vibrants than the total amount of disenchants for whatever reason, luck was on my side. I actually think this is low um, if you're fully specced like I am. Um, I, I think this is on the low end. I, I honestly usually do better than that on the Vibrance out of 200 Disenchants. Um, but yeah, so I think this is on the, the floor level. But even so, that was 23,291 profit in profit, right? Like immediate profit in 20 minutes. And then... Um, which would net 69, oh, basically 70,000 an hour. Still, still, 36 hours plus later, still pretty huge profit. 
Honestly, guys, it took me maybe an hour, a little over an hour probably, to fly my all over to Veldraken, speed level, enchanting, and get my skill points to be able to do it. Pick up the items in the world that give you some bonus, you know, things of that nature. Like, it really, you know, talk to Rabul, get your tin, you know, skill there. All that kind of stuff. I mean, after you are at that point where you can, you know what I mean? But regardless, it's, uh, it's really pretty easy. I mean, even at this, this is still less than three hours on NA Realm to get a token. At, even at these lower prices, right? And, <laughs> and when I made the original video, it was well over double this per hour. So still, if you're poor, <laughs> if you're poor in gold, get on this before it's completely gone. I think 70,000 an hour, I think that's still pretty damn good. And there you have it. Another method to make gold with uh, disenchant shuffling, essentially, as well as a review of what I posted a couple days ago with the band shuffling disenchant. If you like what you saw today, please comment, like, and subscribe. My goal is to get over that thousand subscribers just to prove to myself that I can do it. We've grown a lot in the last day or two, but um, I plan on keep on going. I plan on sharing more methods, more little things, more bigger things, hopefully, if I run into them on different ways to make gold. I don't know about you, but I've made... I don't know. I haven't made an insane amount. I made like maybe four million in the first like forty-eight to you know forty-eight to seventy-two hours. Um, I, I've done I've done all right. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there. Oh, I made two hundred million in the first twenty-four hours. You don't know what you're doing. Like whatever. I, I think I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully you do too. Um, I'm glad to share it with you. Hopefully in the coming days I will share some other different profession gold making methods that aren't tailoring and enchanting just to show you that there's a whole bunch of other ways that you can make gold too. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.